What's up guys and welcome back to Let's Play Elden Ring Kita going to the map edition All right, I believe I have tackled all of the outer wall. Uh, I'm pretty sure I believe I've tackled all of Altus Plateau. There are things in Mount Gelmir I haven't done, but I will come back to to wrap up. Lyurnia finished outside of nighttime stuff that I like. I know at the Church of Vows there's an enemy there. Limgrave, finished, except for nighttime stuff. Kaelid, lots left to do. But let's go into Dell, the capital city. And a whole bunch is going to happen now, so... Exciting times. For, honestly, um... Probably, I don't want to, I don't mean to sound negative. I don't. But it, honestly, I know a lot of people really like Dell. It's actually, it's... Honestly, it's one of my least favorite legacy dungeons in the game. So, um, but you know. Okay, sarah, sarah. Everyone has different tastes, and those are just mine. Last episode was pretty brutal with the double crucible knights, but um, we got through it. We got through it. It might have taken me two days of recordings to get through it, but it happened. Yeah, I think the second recording took me about 30 minutes to beat him. Uh, and I also discovered with my Twiggy Crack tier that lets me not lose runes upon death. It Death, the the death effect from Basilisks makes that null. It doesn't work with that. For calling Finger Remedy. So that was the thing I learned. I actually learned a whole lot of new things within that dungeon, which was pretty cool. The Crucible Knight dungeon. You know, okay, wait, let's think about this. There's a fur calling finger remedy on that guy in the altar. So that's a multiplayer item. Um, reveals co-op and competitive multiplayer signs. I mean, that's really all it says. So it doesn't seem like there's any lore implication there. More statues I need to figure out. And there's a legendary item in this dungeon. I know there's those guys, but there's no reason to attack them. There's a legendary um, weapon I never found in Landell, which is why I didn't get the Elden Lord achievement. The Elden Ring achievement, I should say. It was the one legendary item I was missing. It's the only one you can lock yourself out of. So, all right. We got Landell here. So, we found it. Uh, let's go ahead and activate this. And talk to Melina, who should be here with plenty to say. My utmost thanks for bringing me to the base of the Erd Tree. Here, I can govern my own movement, and thus, the accord is fulfilled. I shall depart to ascertain the purpose I was given. Farewell. I shall leave Torrent, and the power to turn runes into strength, here, with you. I wish you luck in realizing your ambition. You have fought long and hard. I have no doubt you will become Elden Lord. May you take the throne. So don't worry, there will be more with Melina um, and we'll have more chances to talk to her. Also, Bach has now shown up over here. Bach the Seamster, at your service, Master. Ready to make adjustments to your garments. Did you see it? Master, did you see it? The, the Erd Tree. I, oh, I don't really have the words for this. But I was so, so dazzled. I felt something stir in my breast. The Erd Tree is waiting for you, Master. I know it, I do. I feel it in my bones. Oh, please do. Okay, uh, I think that's all he's got to say to us now. Eventually, he will have a whole bunch more that we'll want to talk about with him, but. Bok, this seems ready to make um, oh, yeah, not yet. Please do. Okay, so. Let's go ahead into. Lane Dell, the royal capital, which we've been to before from a different spot, so. Before, we were here at the Divine Bridge. Now we can see the other side of this really cool um, 
what looks like a petrified dragon, but I wonder if it's a statue or a petrified dragon. I do, I actually, I honestly wonder, um, these almost seems like that staff there was like part of this like idea of like, oh, look at what we've done. We've defeated the dragons and taken rule. This will be a shortcut we can unlock later. This area, there is a lot to it. Um, it will definitely take multiple episodes for sure to do Lane Dell. Uh, oh, for some reason that was looking like something to me. Even though I didn't remember there being anything there, but there's definitely a chance with how big Lane Dell is that I missed something. There, and we'll find out a little bit more about these guys. First, let's take on this guy, though. I think these guys are supposed to be harder than they are. I, it might just be my Ultra Greatsword wrecking them. Uh, but I imagine that they're supposed to be a little more challenging than that. There is an area here early on that I have a lot of trouble with that I will show you guys as soon as I get to it. Uh, also, there's going to be a wraparound to... so you don't have to fight this guy straight ahead to the left here. And that basically just takes us to another way, like a back entrance, essentially. Eventually, if you're trying to run through, you can just skip this room entirely. So this guy, uh, it's another page. Um, they can be pretty tough enemies here, I think, when they get buffed. Which we'll find a bunch of. Oh, crap, I just realized I can level up my weapon, too. Smithing stone fours here, that's interesting. It's not even a five. Hmm. Alright, well, I'm going to level up my weapon again when I get the chance. I'm also curious to see how hard or easy Lane Dell is for me at this point. Partially because I've done it before. And again, this is just for me. Partially, I'm curious because I'm probably a higher level than last time I attempted Lane Dell on my own. I actually wonder if you can drop down there. I mean, there's an enemy waiting there. I'm going to drop a rainbow stone and see if this is like a nice shortcut. I... Never really used. Where is my rainbow stones? There we go. Let's find out. Yeah, you can drop there. Alright. That's nice to know. I'll have to remember that. Oh, of course I take out my torch right when I wanted to use it. Alright, I saw that item there. First I'm going to take out the enemies. More pages. So many pages. What is this, a book? Lame joke, but I like it. All right, it's a good dad joke. <laughs> and yeah, from behind, these guys are incredibly easy to take out. They basically just spew fire straight ahead that will wipe you to the floor if it hits you, but it's pretty easy to <coughs> avoid them. So there you go. Also, if you want to farm runes, I think they're pretty good for farming runes if you can find a quick one to hit because it's 3,000 runes a pop for them. Um, I've never done it and looked for a specific one, but it's just something I kind of realized when I was... I was having some trouble in the beginning of the here of Lane Dell, and I was trying to figure out... I was, like, why I was getting a lot of runes in between, and I was realizing it was, like... Or when I died, I lost a lot of runes. I was like, well, who did I even get them from? And I realized it was probably that. Okay, we're going to see lots of different buildings like this that we can jump on. Um, I don't know if there's really a best path. Actually, I don't need to kill those guys. I'm not going to. But these perfumers are going to make... To me, they make... This is just a living hell. This area, when they team up with the pages. I think up here is we're going to find our first thing relating to the Dung Eater, though. So... We, if you want to complete the Dung Eater quest line, not just start it off, but complete it, you really want to find as many of these Seedbed Curses, which is what we see on this guy. So, a Seedbed Curse, and this is our first one in this game. Let's go check it out. Um, it'll be key items. Seedbed Curse. Curse grown on a corpse, killed and defiled by the Dung Eater. A tender pox afflicted with omen horns. Afflicted with omen horns. The Dung Eater cultivates the Seedbed Curse on corpses. By doing so, he prevents dead souls returning to the Earth Tree, leaving them forever cursed. 
one of the most loathsome things found in all the lands between. The fact that it's afflicted with omen horns was something for some reason I hadn't thought about before, and that's that has a really interesting implication to it. Uh, it makes me wonder if he's like using what the omens have to create this curse he's afflicting people with, or if it's almost like afflicting people with becoming omens. But the fact that it's considered so defiled and so horrifying, I know people are anti-omen in this game, but I don't think it's straight up an omen thing. Uh, but maybe I'm wrong. I mean, this I, I really have to look into this. I'll be curious to hear your guys' thoughts on that. This matter. But that that's really interesting. I hadn't really uh, honestly thought too much about his ending yet. It's something where I was going to start thinking about all the endings coming up and trying to figure out my thoughts on them. But I, like I said, I just hadn't yet. So, yeah, that's definitely going to be an interesting implication. You... Stop. Just stop. Stop it with your perfuming. I don't want you creating bubbles over people's heads and create making them safe. Stop it. Yeah, page. So many pages here, and they do, as you just might have seen there, a whole lot of damage. And that is the issue when they combine forces with um, the perfumers. Is the perfumers start, like, dancing around... Hitting you from behind, upper class robe. I don't. Oh, it is new. Never mind. I was gonna say I don't think it's new, but it is. So we'll take a look at it. Here it is, embroidered bright green robe worn by noble children. Children donning such a robe is traditionally the child's first show of burgeoning independence. I guess it's like a coming of age sort of dress. Wow! Look, I can use this. So many shortcuts and ways around. It's incredible. Yeah, this is going to be... That downstairs area is where I start to struggle a lot. I thought there was a... Uh, oh, here it is. I was like, I thought there was an entrance around here. Um, hi. You know what? Actually, I think I'm going to take out the guys in the backyard first, <laughs> as I'm going to call this. Because it might be an area that I'm going to want to run to. And I think it might just be this one page, actually. Oh, I just... Was he just a flute, or was he just holding a sword, interestingly? Huh. Smithing Stone 6. Oh, okay, we do get find Smithing Stone 6 this year. Yeah, as soon as I get the opportunity, I'm gonna give myself a level up. Alright, I'm using the Flask of Wonders Physic here, because I... This is the area that, for whatever reason, is, like, has been hell for me. <laughs> and I always suck at this. And I never found, discovered a way to make this less hellish for me. Yeah. That's what I thought. You know what, though? That's alright, because I'm going to use this as an opportunity to level up and go level up my weapon. So I'll do that, and then I'll quick cut it. But I like showing off the level up stuff and all that. And actually, you know what I can do, too? Is start using some of those shortcuts that I found. Alright, so that's the nice thing about this Twiggy Cracked Rune, is when you know you're going somewhere like that, you can do preventative measures. I know I eventually want more intelligence, but I'm going to give myself strength, even though it's not doing much here. But maybe that combined with uh, leveling up my weapon will work. I also, I do know there's not other ways to use the map to quickly get to the Table of Lost Grace. You know what I wonder too, is if anyone has anything different to say now that I've reached Lane Dell. I didn't really think about that before. He... Oh! He has different things now. So he actually changes at this point. I can talk to him about Mogwin's palace now, interestingly. Oh, so that's where the so-called Lord of Blood was hiding himself, eh? A fitting little squat for that deluded maniac to bleat about the revival of his precious dynasty. While he turns our fellow tarnished into bloody fingers. Let him stay there. That way, his delusions will remain as they are, distant and unattainable. But perhaps it's worth looking into. If what I've heard is right, then maybe. Ah, my apologies. Lost myself for a moment there. The information you've shared is of great value. As promised, your reward. And it is a wondrous thing indeed. You are a true fellow. Okay. 
Fever's Cookbook 3. What does it even have in Fever's Cookbook 3? And I, so I want to look into it since he gave it to me. Uh, Fever's Cookbook 3 is a key item. Alright. So, lets you create bewitching branches. So, crafting techniques left by a man who is utterly captivated by St. Trina. He continued the search for her in his slumber. A record of crafting techniques. I don't know how we got Fever's Cookbook 2, but if you get all of them from him, that would seem to indicate that he is the one who is ca utterly captivated by St. Trina. Uh, there were more things that he had to say. Other thing I want to mention real quick is that Mogwin's Palace is, of course, um, on, where we found on the underground area here. And uh, Mogwin's trying to revive a dynasty. I thought he was trying to create a new dynasty, actually, so... well. What if it's doing? reviving an old dynasty, it could say a lot about other things that were happening in the past. There Unlocated demigods. demigods yet to be located. Mikola of the Halig Tree. The unalloyed. His twin, Melania. The undefeated swordswoman. Luna Princess Rani, daughter to Renala. And the one only known as the Lord of Blood. Rani is said to have cast aside her great rune. So here at the hold, we seek the whereabouts of the remaining three shard bearers. If you should learn anything of these matters, I'll trade your findings for a hidden treasure or a long lost right known only to me. We both desire to stand before the Elden Ring and become Elden Lord. As such, I hope we are compelled to work together. Okay, so what he just said there is why me giving him information about Mogwin, who's the Lord of Blood, he rewarded me. That's what that was right there. Um, but he's now, you know, this is where the game should feel like it's expanding a lot, where before you're just thinking about, like, oh, I gotta think about Radon, and I'm thinking about, um, you know, I'm thinking about uh, Rikard. So I, I was going off to Volcano Manor because I was, like, trying to visually be like, what's his name, visually? So, now all of a sudden there's even more demigods that he's mentioning. So the game has just expanded a whole bunch in that sense. Dung Eater's now going to have a whole, uh, some new things to say because we found a seabed curse. No. Wait. You have felt the curse. I can smell it on you. The box, yet tender. Apparently my seabed is ripe and waiting. It was a brief respite, I must say. Go and unshackle my corporeal flesh, trapped in the sewer jail below the capital. All right. I can kill you and defile your corpse. Then the pox will truly be your own. Wow, dream come true. That's totally exactly what I was hoping for. Go and unshackle my corpse. Trapped in the sewer. I can kill you. Then the pox. Okay, so he indicates that there's a sewer jail underneath the city, which would be uh, Lane Dell that he's referring to. I just want to go ahead and read the description of his jail key. Filthy key received from the Dung Eater. Unlocks sewer jail door said to lie beneath Langdell, the royal capital. Uh, looking at Dung Eater 2, you can see it looks like cut off omen horns all over him as well, which goes along with that thing I was saying and kind of realizing with perhaps he's more related to the omen than I realized. And maybe that's the curse he's spreading is something related to that. So... Yeah, just more to chew on, I suppose. Let's see if Roderick has anything else to say about Dung Eater. Greetings, are you here for... No, that's the same thing from before. And what about you? Oh, you don't pay me anymore. Just lay out your own. wonder if he has anything to say now. Nope, okay. So, a whole lot more damage here, so that's nice. And I have zero smithing stone sevens, because that relates to a different area. So, all right. Let's head back to Lane Dell. And we are at the East Capital Rampart. Is this called the West Capital Rampart? I guess not. And again, normally I would do a quick cut sort of thing, but because I'm going to try some shortcuts out, I figure I might as well show those because that might be interesting. Um, yeah, just to again show this area because there's a lot of that here. <laughs> it's a very, very big area. Also, there's probably no reason to kill any of these things on the way over, to be honest. Uh, other thing, I think... 
can just go ahead and skip the one of those run over oh okay this is where it was I like I knew you could somehow skip something oh god but yeah let's try this jump off here and see where this leads to I saw that there's an imp who's gonna attack me so I yeah take care of him now cool all right uh new spot for me Grant, it's just a new shortcut I haven't used. Looks like it's just a nice quick... Well, I could use it as a quick way to drop down there. But let's see what's up here. Let's check out the tops of these. Because, yeah, this is this is pretty cool. Ah, dang. Yeah, R2 swing for the insta-kill on him. Oh, man, there's a lot of... A lot of imp guys on along here. I guess that makes sense in a way. Okay. Golden room nine. What about over here? Getting so many uh there's a you could really go through Lane Dell fast if you wanted to. Um just because there's so many different ways. But I think that's what makes me feel like oh man like which way am I going am I going like an okay path am I missing things just for me like getting anal about missing things I think that's where it, I'm not a fan of the design of the area okay this might not work out for me but I'm gonna try because I saw that item over there and I see that item I see everything I see all for I am Kita and Sir Sir Kita Offnir the all-knowing Stone sword key. All right. Let's keep on checking out these uh, rooftops. Yeah, hey, I think this is the entrance you can eventually open up that door. Wait a second. Uh, or is that just an exit? Oh, oh yeah, we do eventually want to go this way. Um, I wonder if you can just open the door from here. That'd be interesting. Maybe you can. Oh, <coughs> for a second I thought I was going to make it. I was like, alright, well I guess I'm finding out now about that door opening. Golden Rune 12. But I do, you do want to go to this door anyways at some point. The reason I'm going back around is because there's a spot I wanted to check out. Or I saw an item above. I want to make sure I didn't miss that drop right there. Basically, is what it is. You know what? Nice. Okay, that is gonna come to bite me in the butt, I'm sure. But it was fun for a moment, and this isn't even the thing I was thinking about. Get it? Yes, nice. All right, awesome. No, 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 wow, there are, this just became, oh my God, there are a lot of guys back here. Did not realize that, <laughs> whoops. All right, let's bait some of them. So I don't have so many. At least I have this nice area defining, defying, crush everything weapon. Oh, that. I would have liked to have seen what that was. I was in kind of a good position to check it out too before. All right, there's so many things you can miss here. Imped corpse. Yeah, I figured there'd be another enemy coming for me. Oh God, nope. <laughs> before I do. Let me make sure I feel safe. He dead? Okay. I think I'm safe to look at it now. Imped corpse. Let's look at it. Head covering it made from the largely unaltered head of an impish golem. Resembling the visage of a corpse, it holds trace amounts of lingering faith. Alright, yeah. I mean, just there's so many imp things I could have gotten as drops now that I haven't. So I've been pretty unlucky with imp drops very specifically this playthrough. Granted, it's not like I've been going for them. It's not really a big deal. It's just something I thought I'd mention. You know, this does actually... Yeah, okay. All right. Let's go ahead and open this up, which I think I can do from here. Yeah, even though it looks like a big giant door, definitely make sure you open this up. 
Because I actually missed this for quite some time and, uh, when I first played, and I was like, what in the world? What did I miss? And it took me a, a while to go explore and figure it out. Let me see if there's anything else down here I want to explore first. Which will probably just lead me to getting walloped by something. I'm sure there's some big enemy who will show up and make me regret everything. Alright, let's go upstairs first, I guess. I just thought I saw an item over there, which is why I was running that way. Oh man, no, 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 no! And I had a feeling I wasn't going to be able to kill that dog. With the, um, I mean that my hit was going to miss. so hard for me to tell like how much of Landell I've explored just because it's so massive what I've missed all right this is explored this side by this cart minus the fact that I need to now go downstairs or upstairs I mean honestly I thought that I'd be able to backstab him oh well all worked out anyways Oh, hey. Almost didn't want to... Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> that was close. You almost got me. You, I should always be wary of ambushes. Damn, and I played enough of these games at this point. You think so. One would think. All right. Uh, yeah. Definitely wanted to go up here. Oh, you know where I'm actually back at? I'm back at the start where I was running down. I didn't realize that until literally just now, so. I mean, I knew it was coming up at some point, but I am now officially back. So this is the initial outside area. Yeah, I see that enemy there, but I'm hoping I can get a backstab. And that guy won't wake up yet. He hadn't, and maybe I can just take this guy out before he has a chance to strike. Oh no, whoa, that went completely sideways. Completely sideways. Oh god. Of course I attacked the weak one. No, I actually should have... Uh, I, I actually want to use my Twiggy Crack tier. Oh. Now it's time for a fast cut. Oh hey, what's up? I'm back. I decided to start back basically at this staircase, which is where I lost earlier. I fi just because this will be a good way to show how everything connects. Why is that doing like zero damage to this guy? I'm basically I'm just trying to take him out before the perfumers get to me. Alright, another quick cut. Okay, so before I thought it was some sort of fluke that I hit the guy for so little. And now I know that it wasn't, so I'm going to have to try to re-strategize, which might just be me taking out the perfumer on the left first. So there's at least one less perfumer to deal with. And hopefully I can take out this guy before he helps out his friend, the page, who I hate. Alright. The page now is on his own, and yeah, he it's like he just always destroys me. He obliterates me. Let's get him baited, eh? Bro. Come on! Alright, nice. I never have to go back in this room again. <laughs> That's all I wanted. Perfumer gloves. I doubt they're gonna have anything new for me. Perf and warming stones. And I don't actually... Oh, I, I don't think there's actually anything in this room. I think it's just a way to go. So that's the thing is like, this room gave me so much trouble. Like really so much trouble my first time playing. And then there's really nothing in it. It's just one of many, 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 many passages you can take here. Um, so now you can see that's where I died. And you can see that this is where it connects. So you can see like there's so many different ways to go. There's no necessarily correct way. It's just one of many, many ways, basically. Uh, even here, 
So that room right there that I was struggling with, there's another entrance right here to leave. So, um, yeah, I just there's no reason to take it on. Something I'm gonna do here though is hope that I can take this guy out properly. I wonder which lilies those are. If those are Mikola or Trina's lilies, they look like Mikola ones to me. I think. All right, hopefully this time. I actually hit- oh my god, why doesn't that hit? What is with that? that it's the second time, same thing. I guess it swung over it, the guy, because the arch. Alright, well this time, this time it all worked out, so, alright. That's good, now I never have to go to that spot ever again, and that's all I wanted. Mikola's Lily, alright. That's what it looked like to me, but nice to find out for sure. I don't think there's anything else back here, actually, honestly. So it's just another area that really just makes this area feel big. But I, I, I don't know. I guess that's what a lot of it is to me is, like, it's just big, but doesn't feel like there's much that, at least to me, is rewarding here. So very much my own personal critique, I know. I'm not trying to say that you need to share my opinion on it, and I know some people love laying down. This is like their favorite area. I don't, because of this. <laughs> no, I, I just don't. Aha! That is the item I wanted to get. So this is the one from before that I was thinking like I missed something that was like from a fall off. Oh, oh, it's on the back side of where this guy was. So there was something back here and I just happened to miss it. Uh, okay. I just didn't explore properly as it turns out. I'm popping this on because I want to grab my runes that I dropped. Uh, I want to make sure I get those back. And I wasn't sure how far away I was or where that was going to take me, but I guess it's just basically going to take me right to them. That worked out surprisingly well. Alright, so that little area is taken care of. Now, question is, do I go up there now, or do I continue to travel through this bottom portion? Uh, you know... I feel like, well, there's an Urchery guy here, Avatar here, so I guess might as well try to take him out. Let's see how that goes, which will probably be pretty damn difficult. That's actually a really good attack for them to do, because you can get a... They're pretty, uh, it's... Ah! I wasn't gonna say easy to dodge, it's just more like... Well, yeah, it's, it's really easy to read, so there. It is easy to dodge, in that sense. Bam, get an attack. Actually, I think you get two attacks there. The worst thing you can do is actually this thing. Just, I find, because it's like, it makes it so you you have to run away. So that's like my least favorite thing that these guys can do when you're tackling them this way. Luckily, we're not facing a putrid one because the putrid ones are so not fun to fight down here. Because they just keep on giving you like Scarlet Rot strikes everywhere never which way. Which actually, I think that Stomp does. Alright, so this guy drops a Lord's Rune, and I think that's going to be new for us now. Yeah. Runes of one who was destined to become a Lord, but when the Elden Ring was shattered, all that remained was a distant duty. Oh, oh no, you were supposed to become something more, and you didn't. Oh, so sad, so sad. I'd be sadder if you weren't trying to murder me, and... And if I actually cared, which I don't, that would also make me sadder. Holy Grease. Yeah, so... We're now down in the main road. Granted, uh... I don't know. Yeah, sure. We're at the main road. There. That's all I'm gonna say about it. And lots and lots and lots of stuff again to explore around it. This area, this place is just so giant. 
Uh, this area to the left here is basically going to be taking me back up here to um, that little branch off I started at. I'm just making sure I didn't miss anything. So, just another way, basically. You know, let me take care of these two guys at the same time. I'll show what I'm talking about. Okay, so up there, that was the thing I was calling the backyard. <laughs> and then you can kind of, like, jump down from up here to this spot. Oh, there's the backyard. So, see, that's the thing I was calling the backyard, right? So, another thing you can do, though, is run off the ledge here to drop onto this area. So, it's just another viable path. I was hoping that would kill him in one strike, but it did not. And I don't think there's anything up over here in the ash. A whole bunch of ash already in the city from something. Which actually brings out some questions as to why. Why is there already a bunch of ash here? Right, so that guy's strike, we're just going to watch this so I can see the best route to take. I think if I just go around him to his left, though. Uh, and then get behind him, then that's that. Feels, oh, you know what they look like? They look like those patchwork golems, right? But with way less on them. Uh, they look exactly like that to me. The fact that they're shooting out fire almost makes it seem like they were using eating dragon hearts and doing dragon communion stuff. But honestly, they look like the, the black kindred golems. But that have the patchwork stuff on them. But without the patchwork in it. Oh, damn it. I just fell down back here. Don't feel like I need to deal with this, and I'm just going to skip it. But hey, kind of gives you even more idea of just how connected this area is and where it's connected. Um, man, that sucks. Now I'm going to have to like run all the way back up there because I want to make sure I didn't miss anything. It sucks and is fine at the exact same time, basically. That's the way that I'll put it. It's nice to for me, actually, to feel like I'm knocking out stuff from this main road. Man, I kind of want to go down here because there's there's a uh, site of grace around here that I can go ahead and activate. There we go. And I'm not going to rest at it because I don't want anybody to come back to life. But uh, first site of grace there. And actually, I don't think we can go down that way. Maybe we can. I thought that there was like a different wraparound to open up this one, but maybe not. Just because this area is gigantic it is truly huge uh okay so the way up was is doesn't look like this is it but i'm gonna look back here anyways just to find out what's back here just in case I, yeah i have not been here but let's take out the trumpeter dude so he can't alert his friends i'm not here i'm no one faceless faceless name faceless person all right, uh, sure. Let's go up this way, fine. Oh my god, this is so much here. Right, I'm gonna alert this guy. Hopefully you see me. But I only want one of them to see me. Not both of them. Oh, that guy saw me too. Oh, looks like neither of them saw me. I mean, this guy did, obviously, but... You know, the one with the great bow actually looks like it's coming to attack me, so maybe he did see me. But you know what? As long as his friend didn't, that's fine by me. I just don't want to deal with them both at the same time. Oh, his friend did. Great. That's just fantastic. Nah, I can't use my thing. Hey, are you going to come for me? And ah, whatever. Screw it. The other way around goes back to them anyways, so I'm just going to go the other way. Just because I want to have them both activated and chasing me at once. And that's a door that we can eventually open up, but we don't open up here, by the way. So, let me finish this left-hand side first. And I think I saw everything, but again, this is just me wanting to be thorough and double-check, because this area has a lot. <laughs> a whole, whole lot. Alright, looks like everything is good here. And to the left is where I fell down because I'm dumb. But hey, we're back, so. That's cool. <laughs> now I know for sure. 
that there was nothing else. Even though I was pretty sure to start with, but yeah, I'd like to double check that stuff. All right. All right. Hey, 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 hey. You, I want you to see me. Why don't you see me? Oh, wait. Where's your friend? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> the two of them just got activated there. I forgot about those. I knew that there were a whole bunch of guards, but first... I thought they were behind the... in the back. Alright. That actually worked out surprisingly well. You guys now, it's your turn to come at me. Before your... the great bow guy sees me. And then we're gonna wrap around to the back eventually. Yeah, take care of both of you. Oh, I thought I was taking care of both of you at once. I was close though, I was close. No. He sure got close, but not quite. Okay, friend, do not hit me, please. Nice. All right, actually that area got taken care of pretty nicely. There's gonna be an enemy back here though, who has awoken up, you finally woke up, you were sleeping. Lord Sworn's Bolt. All right, I guess that's all that's back here. There are some enemies down there. Um, this is the area that I was just at. The trumpeter is basically over here that you saw on this side to alert those enemies back there. Gravel stone, and I'm gonna wanna try to fall onto that. And I think one of these things here relates to that legendary item I missed. I think it relates to that spear, but I don't know. Tarnished golden sunflower. Hey, come on, man. I have to use another heal. Now that all of everything is going to take me longer. Right, I have less time out in the field. These things aren't going to take me longer. I just have less time in the field. Before I drop down here, I'm just trying to finish checking everything out here. Oh god, there's a perfumer. Oh no, 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 this is really bad. This is really bad because of the perfumer that I should have taken out first. We could possibly give this thing a bubble head. That's all I don't want. I don't want you to have no bubble heads. And he it looks like he has some extra powers on him. You can see that red. Alright, this gives me a chance to take out the perfumer. Alright, no, no, hey! Oh, you ass, you ass, get out of here. Oh god, okay, <laughs> there he is! I don't know if this is like an added strength type of thing. I actually don't know at all what that power is that got put on this lion! Oh, okay. Well, whatever it is, it's gone now. Yeah, you can really never get two strikes with this sword. <laughs> oh, what's wrong? What's wrong? You're stuck there. You're stuck. Oh no. I shouldn't be cheesing you, but I am. Somber Smithing Stone 6, Beast Blood, Old Fang. Sorry, it's Lane Dell. I'm just I'm gonna do it. <laughs> as cheap as it feels, and I know it is. It's Lane Dell! Leave me alone. Alright, let's get let's go on. See what was behind them. I don't think the lion respawns. Same thing with that Erd Tree avatar that I fought. Uh, I'm fairly certain both of them are like little mini bosses that don't respawn. Alright, Golden Rune 10. Heroes Rune 2. And a path we can't go to yet. So um, this is going to be way later where we find that wraparound. But yeah, actually a lot of this is coming, finishing up nicely. So I thought this was going to be a little more brutal than it has been. Because this first area is the one that gave me the most trouble in, of this area. Alright, I guess I'll wrap around here first though. I could drop down to fight the enemies, but I'm wondering if honestly it might be better just to take care of them up here first and then do the drop down later. That might be the smarter way to go. So I can approach them on my terms. And I don't know what my terms are, I guess just not. No, 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 no. 
I'm swinging R2, hoping that I can beat him to the punch, and it worked. Okay. Now, next is a Perfumer. Cool. Alright. This is a little done underground spot that... Oh, actually, you know what? That fall would have just... Maybe what you have to do is you have to get on that thing, bring it down, and maybe the item on top of there, that's how you get to it, and that's what the legendary item I missed was. That that could be the case. Could be. Okay, let's drop down here. You know, it's funny. You see that hand there, but I don't think it's ever... Oh, never mind. I was like, I don't think it's ever attacked me, and I'm realizing it does when you're in the dungeon there. So if those are Karya related uh, or sorry, right card related. It's interesting that they're here in the capital. If that is the case. Alright, Omen Killer down there. Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to drop like that, but... You know, it happened. Sometimes things just happen. Uh, I think there's an ulcerated tree spirit around this area, or some mini-boss thing. But let's take care of this Omen Killer first. Fortunately, I can just unlock him. Yeah, I have got Omen Smirk Mask. Was that new? That's pretty cool. Yes. Mask with long, hideously twisted horns worn by the Omen Killers. Increases strength. Bears the smirking face of an elder twisted in wicked delight. The visage is carved in the image of the evil spirits that haunt the Omen in their nightmares. Oh. <coughs> These Omen Killers, they know what's up. In terms of how to be like haunting and awful. <laughs> Alright. So Lane I'm trying to be able to show where I am in Landell, basically. S Smithing Stone 6. But yeah, there's one of the tree spirit bo bosses here as a mini boss. Uh okay, yeah. I knew there was around here somewhere. We were gonna find another Side of Grace. And Lionel's Helm and its set. So let's look at that before we pick up the other thing. The Lionel set. Round iron helm with a distinctive large brim. Worn by Lionel the Lion Hearted. When this chivalrous, dauntless knight met Fia, who had been driven from her home, he declared himself to be her father. Finding out some stuff about Fia, actually, through this. And then, the deathbed dress. Alright, let's look at the deathbed dress now. Extremely thin and sheer white dress worn by the deathbed companion as she embraces the dead. Slowly replenishes the HP of nearby allies, but not that of the wearer. The touch of the fabric is exceedingly soft, so as not to harm even the most withered corpse, while still sharing her warmth. How sweet, kind of. With Fia. Alright, I activated it. Do I want to rest here? Um, Because there's more things I want to do while I have everything cleared out. You know what, actually, I think this is a good point to now warp up here. And then go back that way. So I think maybe that's what I'm going to do. So I can explore that part of Landell. So let's start from the Avenue Balcony. And let's see what strength's gonna do for me. A little bit. Huh. No, I'm gonna do another vigor actually, just to keep on giving myself some survivability rates here. Um, I don't want to go too far up, far up, far high up on it, but I do want to do a little bit of it. Oh yeah, I also wanted to check out this, which I should have done before I. Ah well, whatever. How did this guy not come and kill me? That was the most surprising thing of all. You had a good chance there. And he didn't do anything. Oh look, he's got glowy eyes. Got those glowy eyes. No. You will not summon lightning. Alright, Langdell Night Greaves. Well, since we got them from him special, let's check it out. Greaves worn by knights sworn to defend the royal capital of Langdell. Time is yet to dull their luster. Right, golden rune 8. Golden rune 12. 
lightning proof dry liver. And that's it. I can't open this. But the main reason I came up here anyways was to go to the opposite side. Although, I guess now that I killed him, let's make sure there's nothing on that side. Nothing on that side. I don't think I can drop down there. Yeah, the main thing I have to remember is next episode to climb down that thing. Because I actually know how to get to it. Um, I can't believe that that is the case. I can't believe that's the item I allowed myself to miss. And I didn't remember that. That's, that's stupid to me. How dare I? Alright, we're gonna keep running this way. Um, actually, another thing I missed here that's over here that might as well... Uh, I guess I'll just do it now. Um, are these little churches? So, this was actually my... Um, that looks like an Erd tree with that guy on it. Uh, this was actually my first personal encounter with this style of Crucible Knight. Uh, I actually I fought Ordavis later on. So when I was, like, way higher leveled and more prepared, in a sense, for that type of fight. Crap. Um. Alright. You're gonna do your drillies. Yeah, after the last thing, this should be nothing compared to the last Ordavis double fight. I'm actually surprised I haven't stunned him, to be honest. Because I've been, like, wailing on him. So... Mainly for this, it's going to give a shortcut that I don't need anymore, if I remember correctly. But Heroes Rune 5. Damn. And, you know what? Alright, it's like a Golden Erd Tree template. Alright. Golden Rune 9. And I believe this is now going to be the shortcut. Is up here. That Remember that door that we first saw at the East Rampart? That's basically what this is taking me to. So... Yeah, I don't know. It's, like, weird to me how they chose where the Sites of Grace were here. Because, like, that that would be a really cool shortcut to find if I hadn't just found this one right there at the Avenue Balcony. And then, again, there's, like, the other one right down there at the Lower Capital Church. So, there's a lot here. And I get mitigating, um, mitigating runbacks and all that. But it makes, like, a shortcut like that that I just found... While nice to see things connect, it really doesn't mean anything, you know? So, I think that's the pro and con of this sort of thing. Uh, okay, this is going to be the way down. I just want to make sure I activated it. So now I have this activated, because I do want to go check out that other side. Hey, wait, there's something down there. Um, I'll try to remember that, too. I wonder if you die for dropping there or not. So, again, don't miss this, because I definitely did my first time. Granted, I eventually found it when I was trying to figure out how the hell to get to this region over there. But, um... Yeah. I, I guess I thought, big door, it's probably locked. And that might be why I never really fully looked into it the way I should have. Yeah, this area... <laughs> oh. Okay, I forgot what it... I forgot that it was, like, water over here. Beast blood. Again, a lot of ash here. And now we have the misbegotten. I think I'm calling them the right thing now. Not demi-humans, but these guys are misbegotten. Um, warriors, so... Um, but yeah, again, the ash thing is interesting. Kind of, in a way, like, is reminiscent of, um... Dark Souls 1, but, like, you find the Ashen area, uh, even Dark Souls 3 eventually too, right, but, Golden Rune 9, I think there's something worthwhile at the end of this path, if I remember correctly, no, dog, no, don't do it, oh wait, I didn't kill you, that was surprising. Lightning proof dry liver. You know what? I'm gonna actually just run along the back side here first. And then I'll run through the normal side. That makes sense. So that way I can see both without needing to do too much running back and forth. Alright. Sure, there's gotta be something back here, right? Oh, it's a lionine, misbegotten. One of the was a boss guy ones. 
Oh, I can't believe that didn't hit me. That's actually kind of shocking. A Leonine misbegotten, I mean. Alright, perfume bottle. Alright, that was just what I was hoping for. No, at least it's taken care of. It's the satisfaction of feeling like you explored everything. More Michelos Lilies here. Um, which, considering that Mikola and um, Melania are children of America, it makes sense that there would be Mikola Lilies in the royal capital. Since this be, this do be America's house. America. Son. Yeah, America. I, I think that's everything for the bottom ashen area. Uh, now we got all this, this stuff. And yeah, it's still, it's kind of amazing that how giant Lame Doll is. All right, I'm gonna take you out with an R2, I think. This should have been a lot harder, but I got my <coughs> Colossal Greatsword. Oh. Wait a second. I thought that had like a thing in it. I was like, oh, wait, did I miss the thing? Nah, we're good. We are good. What were you praying to? Who is that? Somber Smithing Stone 6. Yo, if I was using boss weapons and legendary weapons, that would be so sick. Right, I think everything is good there. Oh, yeah, I, I thought there was probably another Leonine Misbegotten. It's like there has to be a reason that I remember this area having, like, some struggle to this area. All right, I, w I just want to have him come to me so I don't get ganked here. No, just in case, I'm going to be smart about this. I have a decent amount of runes. Wow, I actually dodged, and uh, I'm not joking. I actually did press the button, but I tapped it too lightly. My finger is a little too far off of the trigger, and that just ruined my entire run with this guy. No, 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 no. Wow, close calls. Let's take him out for real, though. Wow, I can't believe how much that screwed me over, missing that dodge. I, like, I tapped it like, I don't know. I was going to say like that. Um, but, like, I did lightly tap it. Ah, well, whatever. I don't, I don't need to... I don't need to say anything else. I know I did. I know when I mess up and when I don't and when I miss things. So, I, I don't try to, like, lie about that stuff. I don't have any reason to. It's like, why do I have anything to be proud of? Who cares? I'm cl really glad I took care of the, the guy before uh, he could get a bubble. So... Okay. It's these perfumers, man. These damn perfumers. I'm telling you, they're the worst. Alright, there we go. Now you. You need to lower just a bit. Thank you. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. Looks like I'm about ready for another level up, actually. Uh, in terms of how many runes I have. I, th I don't think I'm quite there, but I think I'm close. Will you guys be the ones who give me enough runes for my level up? No. I probably need, like, closer to 45,000, actually. Alright, what's this one? Nascent Butterfly. And? You? Exalted Flesh. Alright. Yeah, I think part of the reason this was driving me crazy is because, like, there's a really a couple really important things over here that I was trying to find that I didn't for a long time. <laughs> okay, this is all that's going to be here. I don't think there's anything on top of those carriages. So, I mean, unless I'm mistaken, but I don't think so. So, cool. Now we can keep on going. And I don't have much time. There's another boss fight over here that I'm not going to do quite yet. I'm just throwing that out there just so you guys are aware. Uh, that I'm aware of the boss fight. I mean, because you have to do it, but I'm just not going to do it quite yet. I think if I remember correctly, it's fighting a bunch of omen. Um, actually, it makes a lot of sense that it would be... Oh, I 
just thought about it. I'm like, wait, that makes total sense. It'd be Omen. So, we have another one of the Divine Towers up ahead. And because I didn't find this until way later, I was freaking out about where the hell I activated one of the great runes that I found. And I didn't realize that... I, I just couldn't find this Divine Tower. I was like, what in the world? This is driving me crazy. Alright, Flame Drake Talisman plus one. You plus zero. Wait. Oh! Sealed by Morgoth, the grace given. I never realized that, that this was sealed off. Okay, I guess we can't go here yet until we fight Morgoth, the grace given. Uh, which I didn't even realize the grace given was his uh, name. But straight ahead there, um, you can see one way to go. And then you can see that the Divine Tower is over there too. But alright. Um, sorry if that was a waste of time in a way. So, I'm trying to decide where I want to go for the next episode. Let's see if I can level up. Let's see if the Avenue, Bal Avenue Balcony lets me jump on that thing to try to get that item I was wondering about. Those are some things I'm curious about. Not quite. Not quite. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's something down here. Or one of these rooms. Yeah, okay. That's what I was thinking of. So you have to go the other way to open up that one. That is what I was wondering about. Okay. Uh, you know what? Let's just go down here and have some fun, shall we? Oh, actually, wait. I think to the left might be where that thing is. No, that's just the dragon. Oh, well. Alright, I'm gonna have some fun. I'm gonna wrap this up with some some fun time. Oh, crap. I didn't mean to drop there. Oh, no. I'm looking at the time. I only have, like, five minutes, basically. So, if it doesn't go well, that kind of just is what it is. Guilty Hood. That's new. Crap. I shouldn't have done this. I don't have time. Guilty Hood. Where is my guilty hood? Where you be? I'm guilty of not finding it. Coarse hooded cloak of olive brown, the garb of those accused of lesser crimes indicated by the collar of sharpened branches. All right, I'm gonna try that one more time from the Avenue Balcony, just cause it'd be fun to end with a quick boss fight. Well, mini boss, it's not really a boss fight. Mini boss fight. All right, what I meant to do, what I meant was to jump onto this platform and actually this one so I can run across and who are you praying to over there? What what you praying to? Also, give me a level up too if I beat it. What's a Oh my god. It's a tree spirit. Oh, I almost Totally messed that up. No. Nah. Will not let you eat me, tree spirit. I know I taste good, but no. Oh god. That's gonna hurt a lot. It that did hurt a lot. I was right. No! <laughs> I feel like if I scream it out, it definitely makes it so it won't happen. It's all about the scream. All right, now you're gonna go into phase two and do an AOE, but first I want to hit you. Oh, I thought you'd do an AOE. It's not. Great. Oh, I was really. <laughs> ah well. Good thing I have so many crimson flats. All right. Oh, there's the AOE right when I run towards him. Of course. Kita would do that. He is. He is a jokester like that, you know. He likes to make things as rough as he can. Oh, come on! <clears throat> Sometimes he likes to miss. Just for the, just for joke scenes, you know? Oh my god, I thought that was gonna kill him! That's actually why I did that. I was like, eh, I know this is stupid, but I think that's gonna kill him. Alright, I will see you guys in a moment. And just like that, I'm back. Alright, I'll trade a tree spirit. Oh, come on. Come on, that was, that was whatever. Oh, wow. I thought I was gonna avoid getting hit because I was so close to his tail. No, let's not get hit by that, please.
No. Oh my god, I don't know what this is. That's oh that's what his AoE looks like from far away. Okay. Well now I know. What did he get hit by that just stopped him from doing that? That was interesting. No. No. I think one more hit should stun him. Well, I guess I wouldn't know now. No! Yeah, I felt like he was like on the verge of being at this point of where I could stun him. Felt about right to me. Right, let's keep on trucking. Hopefully I don't have another embarrassing death point like that. I'm like right about to kill him. Okay, this time I can be greedy. I know it. Okay, golden seed for defeating him. I think every tree spear in the game gives you a golden seed. Or maybe there was one that didn't, but just about all of them do. Uh, okay, so now that he's taken care of, we can openly explore this section. Golden Arrow 15, Smithing Stone 6. Uh, again, no Smithing Stone 7s, which is really what I would need at this point. But I, it actually makes sense. So from a lore standpoint, at least... From a lore standpoint of what they gave the item descriptions, it's like, okay, sure, that makes sense, given what you said these stones are and where they come from. Alright, um, yeah, so that wraps up me for today. Oh, how about that? Eventually I'll get there. Obviously a lot more to do in Landell, so, um, I'll figure out which way I want to go. Actually... Yeah, I'll, I'll figure it out. Maybe I will actually start from here and go down the shortcut that I opened up that I was complaining about. <laughs> I might do that. So, um, all right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate it. Next episode will obviously be more Lane Dell as I'll be delving uh, into this side of it, essentially, and doing a lot down there in the dungeon area. Um, and then I'm going to pop up, hopefully find that item and the back area, and eventually we're going to work our way to this spot. So, all right. See you guys next time. Later, guys. Hey. Peace.